Hey everyone, welcome back to a new Graviteam video. Today we're talking about heavy weapon squads and wire link communications. We have two platoons, a heavy weapons one, and an infantry squad. This squad up here is going to get ambushed, and this squad back here is going to provide them with fire support. So, the first thing we're going to know is the commander. You're going to look here, you're going to see wireless communication. This commander over here, all the way on the far left, is the one you're going to use to spot targets. Next to him is going to be your telephone operators. They're going to run the links and the wire between different units. So if we clicked on this platoon way up here up front, see the green arrow, you'll see link lost. Technically, this telephone squad will run a wire to that platoon. They're also going to run wires down to these commanders. So if you see over here on the left hand side, you'll see link lost. They're going to run two wires to those commanders. And then once all the wires are up, technically this unit will then send sig radio messages on what to launch mortars at or what tanks to target. So a big ass disclaimer is the system's extremely bugged and we're lucky if it's going to work correctly. What will happen is sometimes the mortars will just start designating units. That's why I hid them behind the trees over here. But they will still launch mortars over in on the enemies because technically this commander can see what's over there and he does have a radio. So the process isn't flawless. It needs a lot of work but hopefully we get a good play and it all works correctly so here you have these there you have the little AI taking over to run the the cords we're gonna give them a little speed boost and there they go there's nothing you need to do this is what they're going to do automatically you're just going to look for laying wire link and it's always going to say that so we're going to follow them all the way down to these units. If it stops slowing us down. And we're going to watch them set up the wire link for our mortars. And then once that's set up, we're going to designate targets to be mortared. And as you see, there's two units. Remember how I said this platoon over here would get a wire link as well. They are going to get one. So here's that little bug I told you about, is that this, the, sometimes the mortar units are just going to be designating magically by themselves. It doesn't really matter. So if we were to click on this, you'll still see Link lost. That just means it's not, they're not technically on the radio. But like right here, that blue eye means they're targeting something that's designated for them. So, just a fun fact, but we're going to watch the process go through anyway, because it's, it's not going to change. I mean, these guys technically don't have line of sight on anything over there. The only person who does is the commander up there. So, we're going to let them finish running the links. So, if you look right here, link's been established. Link established right here. So, if we click on that, we can see which links are established. Now we can go back up to our commander and we can give him a proper designation because this is how you're going to do it. So let's slow everything down. Let's grab our commander. Let's select the target designator, drag our line, and then hit fast forward. So that line's going to fill up. Once it hits 25%, technically the mortars are going to start targeting that area. So if we come over here, we can actually witness that. And there you go. I know there's a lot on the screen right now. And we're gonna slow it down. So another fun thing you can do, if we hit tab again, we can zoom back out. We can grab this commander. Let's turn infantry back on and we can redesignate and they should change where they're going to see 69 percent 47 so now they're all going to start targeting that area 
So if we go down to our mortars. We're going to watch them. So that little blue symbol right there means they're receiving radio orders. From a commander. Alright. And then we're going to go all the way back over here one last time. And we're going to watch the mortars hit. And see. Just like that. And for the last thing we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to drop smoke grenades, because I do this at the end of all the videos, is click this act with caution. And we're going to hit speed up, and the next type of mortars that are going to fall here in a moment are going to be smokes. Give it a moment, there you go. As always, um, like, subscribe, peace out.